Il oui. y a un micro dans les livres, c'est normal Oui, <rire> il est caché par nous. Hello and welcome on our new TV channel, Sciences Po TV LH. Today is the rentrée solennelle on Sciences Po de Havre Campus and we are very pleased to meet our president, Mr. Frédéric Mignon. Good morning, Mr. Mignon. Good morning. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you for having me. It's a great joy to see you. Yeah, it's a great joy. So today is the rentrée solennelle on Le Havre Campus and we wanted to ask you what is your first memory of the rentrée solennelle as a student in Sciences Po. The sad thing is that I believe with that when, uh, when I was a student, there was no such thing as a rentrée solennelle. And so I have no recollection of, of you know, an event that would have looked like the, the current rentrée solennelle. And I think it's one of the many improvements of life at Sciences Po over time that we now have those events that mark the start of the school year. Okay. Uh, what surprises you the most about the Art Campus? Because it is now a campus of almost 12 years. Mm -hmm. How did you see it evolve those past few years? What have I seen on the Loire campus? I've seen ever more talent, ever more diversity, ever more enthusiasm, and an ever better dancing team. <laughs> so I think there's improvement here as well. We yeah. can only agree. Yeah. Yeah. So you were already in Le Havre uh, for the opening ceremony of Minicrit last mm -hmm. May. We had a little question for you. If you had to compete in Minicrit, which category would you choose and why? Ha, huh, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, well, I guess no sport, that's mm -hmm. for sure. No <laughs> sport whatsoever. Um, if I had to compete, it would probably have been in theater because that's one thing I did um, as a younger man. Sadly, I had to stop afterwards because there was no time for it, but theater would have been the possibility. But I think my involvement in the mini crit would have been probably focused on, you know, being a, a good supporter. That, that's what I would have loved. Each year, your rentrée solennelle speech is very awaited by the students. Is it really? Yeah, yes. really. How do you feel before coming on stage? Huh. Um, I feel uh, focused. Uh, I'm usually very cheerful because I love those events and I love having the uh, opportunity to uh, to meet the students for the first time. Um, and I'm always also slightly emotional because I think there's something important in the air in those uh, in those moments. So it's a mixture of all three things. So we know that being the president of a school as renowned as Sciences Po requires the qualities of a diplomat as well as of a businessman. Mm. Can you tell us a bit more about that? I'd say, you know, a diplomat probably. That's a, that's a fair assessment. Uh, I'd say I'd say that you need to be uh, an entrepreneur more than just a businessman. Uh, but of course, that's a, that's a nuance uh, that, that you all understand. My sense is that what's probably the most important thing if you're going to do this job is uh, loving the job and by that i mean loving the students for whom you work uh, loving the professors and the, the teams with whom you work that is the essential quality you have to be able to feel the love in order to, to be able to to bring the enthusiasm that's required on a daily basis and the energy that's needed to do the the job properly Sciences Po is also very famous for its many international partnerships that can be politically very diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, considering worldwide politics, is it difficult to maintain those partnerships? Maintaining the partnerships um, is not difficult. It requires time. It requires, you know, uh, not, not so much effort as just uh, uh, the ability to be there when your partner needs you to to go there and see the people with whom you you need to interact uh, in order to make the partnership thrive um, and what makes it not so hard in fact to maintain those partnerships is the fact that all the universities with whom we partner and especially for the dual degrees and, and such like have two things in common they have a common focus and commitment to excellence and uh, a common focus on and commitment to academic freedoms, whatever the situation of the country they're in, whatever, you know, the political or geopolitical um, events that may happen, those two things, excellence, academic freedoms are essential. So do you get to travel a lot? Um, 
Yes. I do. I do do some traveling. Mm -hmm. I've been to China in uh, the spring. I'm going again in November. Um, I'm going to Kuwait in a few weeks' time. I'm going to New York often. I go to London often as well. Um, I try and do one long trip per semester, and smaller ones uh, are easier to fit in. That's wonderful. Yeah. It is. Do you have a final little message for Avre students? Do I have a message for them? Well, I, I guess I do. I guess I do. Um, I'd like to say, say to them that uh, I'm slightly envious of them as the school year is about to start because of all the opportunities that are out there for them to seize, all the new people they're going to be meeting. So my piece of advice to them is make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. If you'd yeah. like to uh, see more... The Loire campus and by the at Sciences Po.